Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're having a look at uh, Divi's little post slider here. Great little thing and as you can see it's got the featured image as the background of the post. It's going through five, four, three, two etc. And we've got a read more button. Of course we can click on one of these and it'll take us to the post. Really easy to do, nice little feature. It's built into the Divi theme itself. So let's get started and I'll show you how this is. I'm gonna enable the visual builder. And if we go down to the dashboard here, I'll open it in a new tab, and go to my posts. I've created seven little posts there with a couple of little categories, old posts and new posts. Obviously you've got to have some posts before this will actually work for you. So if you don't have any posts, you need to create some before you start this. Okay, now we've got our builder down here. Let's go down and we'll delete this. I've got a section there, the blue tab, with a row, the green tab. I'm gonna hit the little button to add a new module. And if we go down we're going to find our post slider right there. I'm going to click on it. And it'll ask you how many you want to display. Well, I've got seven, so I'm going to display seven. And it says, what categories do you want to use? Well, I'm going to use my two new categories of old posts and new posts. You can decide to order by new to old, title A to Z or random, old to new if you want the oldest post showing first. We've got a read more button there. If you want it to say something else, just type that in there. And there's show excerpt right there. That's a little excerpt we've got from our post there. You can decide how many characters you want to show right underneath with showing 270. If I move, change that to 100, as you can see, it gets a lot shorter. I'll put it back to how it was. And common to most Divi modules, if you do something you don't like what you've done, just simply select it, delete it, it'll go back to the default of 270 on there. If you want to offset your post, you can do so down below. In the elements down below is where we can choose what we actually want to have. Now we've got arrows, there's the arrows to get back and forth got the controls here navigation dots pagination dots We've got the read more button and show the post meta the post meta is the author the date and the title etc so you can turn those on and off as needed featured image for me at the moment I've got mine as the background so that's the featured image of the actual post when you write your posts you have to add a featured image the background so you can choose to have it in the background there or you can put it on the left right top or bottom and of course you've got a black background element for us that have got the default image as the background though this background is pretty irrelevant but if you're going to display them right to left or left to right top to bottom you can add a nicer bit of content if you want to And then you can pop in background patterns and all kind of things here if you want to. Obviously make it your own, but I like my featured image to be in the background of my post. So I'm going to pop that back to background there. Great, so if we roll on to our design tab, you can have an overlay. Now that image is not too bad. They're all okay, but, but this one is getting a bit lost there. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a bit of an overlay so we can read that a bit easier. So let's go back. Just pick a color. A little too dark right there we can pull it down to where we want it so we can still see the image but we can read the writing as well 
Actually, I don't want mine quite as bad as that. Let's just put about that. Then I can have a different one on hover. And this is common to all Divi modules also. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some icons. Go to the one you want to affect. If there's an arrow there, we can set desktop state, which is when our mouse is not on it, what we're seeing right there, and a hover state. For the hover state, I want it to darken down a bit more when they put their mouse on it. So I'll take the opacity up a bit. As you can see, that's really darkening down there. Great, I'm going to leave mine just like that. Navigation. Well, here's our arrows right there. And there's our dots down below there. Just change them to whatever colors you want for yours. Image, if you want to, you can put round corners on the image. Not when it's a background. That'll be when you've got your image separately like that. And you can also put image border styles on. You can do all together, top, right, bottom or left separately if you want to. And choose your width down there. I'm happy to leave mine just as it is. And again, if you've got separate images, you can add a box shadow, things like that. Text. That's the regular text, all of it together. And you can have it light or dark and align it where you want, like it better as light. But of course, we can do our titles, body and meta all in different colors if we want to and with different font styles. DV, as I'm sure you know, has a ridiculous amount of fonts. If you want to audition one, just roll over it and it'll show you that font there. I'm going to leave mine on the default there. And you can style your title, body, meta and button separately if you want to. I'm going to leave mine all just like that because I'm quite happy with the way it is. Don't need to do any sizing or spacing. Might give it a little bit of box shadow just to lift it off the page. There we go. But I do want it to roll automatically. So if we roll down to the bottom of the page here, we've got animation. Click on animation. Here's our automatic animation. If I flip this to on. Default set to seven seconds or 7,000 milliseconds. Speed it up or slow it down by putting in whatever you want there. And you can Turn the continue automatic slide on hover to on if you want it to keep rolling when they put their mouse on it. Or leave it to the default off if you want it to stop and pause when they put their mouse on it so they can read and give them a chance to click the button. But that's entirely up to you, obviously. And that's it, pretty much. The advanced tab, just got your regular CSS IDs, classed, custom CSS, attributes, conditions, visibility transitions position and scroll effects and I don't want to do anything to those so I'm pretty happy with that let's save our changes now we'll go down we'll save the page changes let's go up exit the visual builder and there we have it there's our little blog post slider and that's a nice little feature to have on your site especially if you put it on your on top of your blog grid or wherever you want to put it and when I hover over, it's going to darken that down so we can read it a lot easier. And of course, when we click on a post or click on a read more, it'll take us to that post. There we go. Let's go back. Make sure this one's going to work. And you might notice this is the default post. We haven't done any customization to this. DV now has with the theme builder, you can create custom bodies for your blog posts so you can customize them like any other Divi page. And we'll cover that in a different video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.